Good morning, everyone. All right, I'm gonna shower, get ready for the day, do my morning stuff. One thing before we hop in the shower real quick, we're gonna run downstairs and we're gonna turn the coffee on. How does that sound, everybody? Oh, one suggestion, y'all. If you got a coffee maker like this, what I always do is I put my water in the night before and I put the coffee in the night before. So all I gotta do is come downstairs in the morning, flip the switch, and the coffee's making. Now I can run back upstairs, take a shower. And we're back, everybody. So we are making the coffee. The coffee is done. I'm gonna grab me glass. <laughs> Doo -doo -doo. I'm gonna put the coffee in the glass. Doo -doo -doo. Alright, coffee's in the glass, but I'll leave that on so it keeps hitting. What do you need, boy? Baby shark doo-doo. Baby shark doo-doo doo-doo? Yeah. Okay. Thank you guys watch the daily devotion. Oh, yeah. I gotta help my boy real quick. So, uh, we'll be right back. Real quick, let me hit you with this. If you never ask for help, then how are you gonna learn what the right way to do something is. You may learn how to do it, but it could possibly be the wrong way. And if you learn on your own, then you're just making it harder than it has to be. Don't be afraid to ask for help. Everybody's gotta ask for help. If you don't, if you've never done something, then how can someone expect you to know how to do it? Hi. Hello. You have a good night. Uh, all right, so today's gonna be a little bit of a repeat of yesterday we're gonna go up north to that house work on that for a bit gotta get my boots on gotta put my jacket on and we'll head out the door all right so we're uh, about to head out the door got some snow last night don't mind the mess crying baby so. right this is what i use to take the snow off of my car <sighs> So we got that done. Car's all cleared off. So we'll go inside, get ready, get some coffee. We are about to hit the road. Remember, get up off those couches. Let's get some work done today, huh? Gas station. I'm gonna go ahead and fill up. All right, guys, let's hit the road. doesn't look bad guys but man it is slick out here just got off on an exit to clean my windshield and man when I went to lightly push on the brakes to slow down for the exit I started uh, started sliding a little bit my ABS doesn't work so <laughs> my foot is my ABS so yeah driving slow house I'm gonna start getting to work on this here kitchen all right so now all I gotta do is all right it's clean look at that cleaned up good to go trim we're saving got all the frame and tile ceiling down uh, still a lot of demo to do I didn't bring 
a mask though, so I'm not gonna do anything else because there's still a lot of insulation up there and it's really annoying to breathe in. So I'm gonna move on to another bedroom. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do this bedroom next. So on a snap of my fingers. All right, all clean. Well, besides the carpet, but I think we're gonna tear down this um, plaster too. I just don't know if we wanna try to just rebuild this because over half of it's still here. So might do that to save some money. Couldn't get this thing out of here, it's way too big. Whew. All right, let me show you guys how I plan on doing this. In this insulation up. Uh, so what I did with the bag, I just drew a nail into the cabinet here. Um, where the countertop would go over so you wouldn't even ever see that hole. And I'm going to use this broken snow shovel. Just scoop it up. Throw it in the bag. Scoop it up. And throw it in the bag. Scoop it up. Throw it in the bag. Scoop. And put it in. After some serious thought and consideration, I am going to go ahead and head home. I'm pretty happy with what I've got done so far today. I'm gonna just go home. I think it's a good stopping point. Got those two rooms done, you know, just a little bit more demo in here, some more demo in the other bedroom as well. I know I'm, you know, joking around with the snap in the fingers and uh, it's just magically getting done. I started thinking about that. What if life was really like that? We just snapped our fingers and things got done. Well, I'll tell you this, uh, it wouldn't be the same, that's for sure. Um, I wouldn't be here working, getting paid right now. My aunt would just be running around through the house, snapping her fingers. Um, you know, you guys probably wouldn't have work um, because your owners, company owners, would just snap their fingers. Even company owners probably wouldn't have their businesses because people wouldn't buy services anymore. They'd just snap their fingers and get stuff done. Yeah, that's what I thought about. Don't take what you have for granted. Even work. Work is is even an important way of life, so don't take it for granted. I'm gonna head home, and some time with my family. My aunt didn't want to get a dumpster, so this is what she gets instead. A bunch of trash bags in the garage. Hey, fun stuff. Bye, trash bags. Made it home safe. Gonna go ahead and take a shower and get cleaned up. <laughs> I'm all fresh now, good to go, showered. Um, gonna go downstairs, find some stuff to do, hang out with the family. My wife's talking about me downstairs. Oh, come on guys, it doesn't get any cuter than this. Oh yeah. Look at those two little rats. Doing nothing. Let's get up off that couch. Let's get up off them couches, people. Let's get to work. Do something productive. Let's go. Wifey is doing her stuff on the computer, which means I have to wait to do mine, so I'll find something yeah. else to do. Uh, so I will find something else to do. Maybe hang out with this little turd nugget. You are? Is it not me? Mm -hmm. What are you watching? Peppa Pig. You watching Peppa Pig? Yeah. What are you eating? Me eating M&M's. Mmm. Let me tell you what daddy is. Let me tell you I'm too bored. Oh. What's your favorite thing to do? Me play with you. Watch and play. Watch and play? Yeah, that's fun. Mommy. And see mommy. Yeah. Well, I was gonna do something with him, guys, but he fell asleep. So quickly, I wanted to go over um, something you can do to make money from home that is free. Um, might cost you a little bit of gas, or if you're gonna walk, so it'll just cost you your time. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do stuff in where I'm located, which is near Lansing, Michigan. And look at this, you just go to the free stuff category, and I'll scroll through here. Um, baby food jars, look at this leather couch, dressers, some shoes, TV stand, entertainment center, toilet, um, van seats, triple wall stovepipe. Man, those things aren't cheap. 
a piano. I mean, you can just go through all of these things, go pick them up, and then relist them on like Facebook, Marketplace, Let Go, throw them right back on Craigslist. And I mean, you could just sell them for 10, 15 bucks even, and you're still making a profit. And this is one way to make money from home. Um, if you have the time, another one is the affiliate marketing. I was talking about that yesterday. Um, I mean, this one though, Craigslist is, is great. Another thing too is going to thrift shops and buying um, used electronics, stuff like that, and then listing them on the Facebook marketplace and things like that. So these are all things that I want to start doing. So wherever you're at, just go to the for sale and then free stuff. And um, this is no joke here, guys. Hey guys, so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog. I'm gonna end it on a positive note though. Um, I just got an email from Dish. They've offered me a conditional offer of employment. Um, I just need to pass a drug test and a background screen, which will be no problem. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. Um, the start out pay is great. Um, it's a lot more than what I'm making now. Me and my wife, we want to start saving up for a homestead. We'd like to buy a piece of land and build a house or buy a house with some property on it. Um, we're looking for at least 10 acres. We want to start a homestead. So I'm getting excited, guys. Everything seems to, seems to be coming together. I felt like the interview went really bad, so I'm really actually surprised that they did go ahead and offer me um, that conditional employment. So, but, uh, so I'll just keep you guys posted. I'll keep doing these daily vlogs, keep bringing you along for my progress. You stay tuned to see how that house turns out that we're flipping, you know, I'll keep working on that. Um, the only reason I've been able to really get a lot done these last couple days is because I didn't have um, work to actually go to my real job. Stay tuned. Oh, we're excited to have you guys along for the ride. Um, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Um, love you guys. Make sure you stay positive. You could be in the best situation of your life and have a negative attitude about it and it could just make you miserable. You could be in the worst situation of your life and have a positive attitude about it and it could be great. Guys, I'm telling you, attitude is everything. If you have a good attitude, life typically is pretty good. If you have a poor attitude, life is pretty poor. So stay positive, guys. Enjoy the rest of your evening. All right, see ya.